Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. And today's video is going to be the task that my service dog provides for me. If you follow me on Instagram, you would know more about that and how she behaves in public, which she knows down, stay, sit, come, all of the basic commands and the foundation correct. But I want to go in depth with you about the task that my service dog does for me. And she, even though she is fully trained, she is still learning a new task, and this is a task that I'm going to start needing, is for her to bring me objects that I need. Like, for example, my medicine. She's already picking up my medication bottle, which is great because then she can start slowly to learn how to pick up my, my medication and bring it to me. So that's what I'm going more in depth with. So she's medical alert, psychiatric, and PTSD response. For her medical alert and with my chronic illness, I do get, she does alert to fast heart rate, alerts to high blood pressure, alerts to me being lightheaded, which causes fainting with my chronic illness. She's learning to bring me medication just like I taught you guys like she I put a treat in an empty pill bottle and she picked it up and she, each time each time I do that she's um she gets a treat that's not in the bottle so she knows not to take the treat out of the bottle she knows that she has to get the treat out of my hand um and then I'm going to start slowly teaching her to bring out the medication to me and she's doing really good with that task like she's starting to pick it up and then I started like with her toys to get her used to different objects and stuff and if you follow my Instagram like I said you would see that I did some training with her today that the leave it command and she's what I do with a new object for her when I'm training her is um to get her to touch the com touch the object with the touch command and then um go from there and see what she does from there but she is a really smart dog for a chihuahua and i would not ask for a better service dog i could not have a better service dog um so she is learning to bring me my medication and stuff so that's good alerting me to sit down and this is so I can do light pressure therapy because of my chronic illness it's a lot to deal with and it's hard um PTSD response this is another task that she does um she can detect trauma and alert me to it to get to a safe place like if I'm in a grocery store like one time I went to the grocery store and um I was in line at the ATM and this lady tried reaching down and petting my service dog and I said please don't pet her, she's my service dog, she's medical equipment, um, please don't pet her. So she stopped petting her but then I started to sh shake really bad so luckily my service dog was trained to walk behind me and alert that way so she alerted me. I was almost done at the ATM anyways and I almost passed out um, in the store. So I walked outside and luckily my mom came with the car so I was able to get in the car for my dog to task for me and an employee saw me so he, she was just kind of just like well like yes yeah, some people assume small service dog teams are fake teams but really the task I'm going through with you now that my service dog does for me. Any dog can be a service dog under the American with Disabilities Act. Um, so I will get further on. So she can detect trauma, alert me, and get me to a safe place, which is what she did in that one situation. She can distract self-harm behavior, like if I'm going like this and that's when she alerts me to sit down. She will come up and just start looking my face and kind of like pushing my hands away. So, so that's how she distracts my self-harm behavior. Um, 
she alerts to heavy breathing and that's important because right when you have an anxiety attack heavy breathing is a big thing because when I have a PTSD episode my mind goes blank I'm not fully there I'm not where I'm at and um I'm unaware of my surroundings so her alerting to that is very helpful because when I have an episode my mind goes blank and I don't know what to do and she is learning to bring me items like if you follow me on Instagram you would know that um, if you saw that little rainbow pencil pouch um, I put a treat on it and she knows the leave it command and I redirected her right after she tried to get the treat um, but what, like I said earlier, I am trying to get her to do the touch command with new objects so she can get used to picking them up for me and bringing them to me. Like with my medicine bottle, she's learning to pick it up, but then she's slowly learning to bring them to me. So that's not too bad for, even though she's fully trained, I still think it's good to get her a new task that... I'm going to start needing in the future, like with my vision, after I get my injections, I can't bend down for two days, so it's like, my mom has to scoop my litter box, my mom has to give them fresh water when I love doing those things for my dog, um, and my cat, so, um, yeah, she is slowly starting to learn to bring more things to me, and even though it's not right away it takes time and patience and she is fully trained and does a lot of other tasks to help me migrate my disabilities um her psychiatric work is alerts to heavy breathing and i know this is in her other psych in her um ptsd work alerts to hand shaking like if my hands uncontrollably shaking she will alert to me she will alert to my leg shaking because the other night I had a really bad episode where I was laying in bed and my legs were shaking really bad. My hands were shaking really bad. My whole body was just shaking. It was almost as if it was a seizure, but it wasn't. But she was able to distract any of the unwanted behavior and to help me to do light pressure therapy. Um, she alerts me to sit down. She does light pressure therapy and medication reminder. Sometimes I forget to take my medication. So that's why it's first thing in the morning right before, after she goes potty, she alerts me by jumping to, she, that's how she alerts to me is by jumping because then it's easier for her. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and understand what what work my service dog does for me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want, follow my Instagram at Carter the Service Dog. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.